Hello everybody, Fishmon14 here with my next Let's Play, which is of Deadly Creatures for the Wii. Ugh, hello Mr. Spider and friend. So this is a very unique game, and a relatively unheard of game. I mean, not many people know about it. It was released a few years ago. Um, it's a really unique game, which is... Well, I mean, I guess you'll see if I get started here any anytime soon. May as well jump right in here. Are you sure you want to create save too? Yes. I've always liked this game since I got it, which was I don't know when, but um, yeah. <laughs> May as well quit babbling. Mr. Praying Manus is just sitting there chewing on his pincher or whatever, so he's obviously bored. So let's just get into this, shall we? Greed can poison a man's soul, turn him into something he ain't, make him deadly. Even more deadly than the vermin that run underfoot out here. I wouldn't say I got my revenge, didn't have much part in that. But when that old gas station seen its last day, well, that was a good thing. Faulty gas lines weren't what blew up George Struggs, no matter what the news said. The cops found a stash of gold coins with Spanish writing on them. Now, I'm not one to go believing in cursed treasure. I think it was just my bad choices and bad instincts that got me this time. Same as always. And George Struggs? The cops asked him what happened right before he slipped into that coma. And he kept mumbling something about deadly creatures. Well, the deadliest creature in this whole goddamn desert is that bastard George Struggs. He can rot in that hospital for all I care. He got what's coming to him. Well then. So that's basically how the plot of this game is... is given to us through these cutscenes involving these two humans. And we actually played this game from the perspective of two different characters. One is a spider, some sort of tarantula, I suppose, and then the other is a scorpion. Oh, oh. Sp speak of the devil. Ugh, just the way the legs move. The way all the creatures in this game move is just so realistic and gross and unsettling and unnerving. Well, here's our two characters right now. Locked in heated combat. Not that I have anything to do with it because it's just a cutscene, and we both got scared off. My drawers or something. Start here? No, no, I'm just getting my bearings. It's over this way. Who are we digging up anyway? Hmm, who are they digging up? I don't know, but. This first level, we take control of the spider that I was talking about earlier. We'll play as the scorpion here soon enough. The spider's gameplay is more like, I don't want to say stealth oriented, but like, it's more about, see the scorpions are, the scorpion's gameplay is more like action oriented and then the spider's is more like, see like the, uh, I'm so bad at explaining. The scorpion is more about killing things. And the spider is more about, like, actually traversing the levels. Yeah, 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 info windows, I don't care. Okay, what I just collected is a grub, one of 450, obviously. Spread throughout the whole game, not just this one level. What they do is, the more you collect, you actually unlock, like, concept art and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, concept art galleries, which can be viewed in the extras option on the main menu. Whatever, game. And, you know, I don't really care about that. I'll collect them if I see them, but I'm not going for 100% in this game. Oh, here's a good cutscene. Watch this. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! As awesome as that is, I don't think bugs are actually that smart to use the environment as a weapon. Yeah, this game has some motion controls, but thankfully it's not too much. It doesn't get, like, overbearing or anything. Climbing walls, shut up, I don't care. I like how the spider has a slap attack. I don't think spiders do that. You know, it's a video game, whatever. 
You gotta jump over cactuses. Do tarantulas even jump? Because if they do, that's terrifying. Oh yeah, that's another thing about this game. My video didn't just freeze. The game does that when it loads. It'll just stop you in the... In, at, right out of nowhere. <laughs> just bitch slapped that spider. Or not spider, but some sort of beetle, I guess. I don't know. I'm not exactly a bugologist. Obviously up there on the top right's my health meter. Oh, shut up! Okay. I wish that's, that's something that this game does that kind of bothers me is... Um, there's too many little... Just jumps in and tells you too many things. Like, if I don't... If I don't want to see it, just shut up. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Hello. I think it's a wolf spider. This game has a few problems, actually. Um, I think I've noticed already a few times some choppy frame rate. And also the camera's kind of wonky. I mean, you can't really move the camera around unless you just, like, push down on the D-pad and it just swivels behind you. Just, just whoop! It can be kind of disorienting, but not too bad. I don't really... It doesn't... It's, not any, it's nothing game-breaking. Though I actually... It can be game breaking, well at least not not this, but sometimes enemies will like clip through walls or something. So I remember I didn't buy this game at first, I actually rented it. And there was this one enemy that like clipped through the through a wall and I was required to fight it. And it was just gone and I couldn't progress through the game. And I think when I reloaded the level, I don't even think it I think it just like permanently glitched or something. So I'm just hoping that it doesn't permanently glitch on me. Oh hello, rattlesnake. Yeah, tarantula versus a rattlesnake. This is... <laughs> if I win this, then this is completely unrealistic. Like, he just kind of snaps at me, and it'll just hurt. You gotta hit his rattle, by the way. And then it's gonna... put me into this, and I have to dodge with waggle. And the stupid thing hits the cactus. But anyway, like, why would he even bite me? Like, I... I know, oh, there we go. Yeah, so he wouldn't... His, his head is like the size of my body. He could just eat me. Then again, I am poisonous. So wait, he's poisonous too. I wonder if being more poisonous than something else cancels out the poison of the first thing. Or at least, you know what I mean. I'm just being bad at explaining. Come on. Ow! Why am I being so bad at dodging? Alright, I think he... Does that first and then snaps. Okay. Oh, and you probably heard my... We mope. That's because I went up to scratch my nose right when it did that. Alright, gotta dodge once and dodge again. Sometimes it doesn't register. Ooh, man, he's got those thorns in his mouth. Alright, come on. Hiss at me. Oop, there we go. Oop. Ow, damn it. There we go. Alright, one more set of dodging. Wait, Z button. Weird. And... There we go. Up, oh, up. Oh, we didn't actually kill him. We just... Knocked the cactus down, and now he's gonna go away. <sighs> I've never actually completed this game, so... At some point, this is going to begin to be a blind LP, but I don't think that's a big deal. This game's pretty straightforward and non-linear. I mean, I like the way the level design in this game works. Because, like, it's not just, like, typical levels as you would think they would be. Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> I hate when it does that. It's not like, like, you're just... See, the thing is, this doesn't have, like, level design, so you would, in the way you would think. It's not, like, creative worlds or anything. It's just, you're going through the desert. And that's all it is. And I really appreciate that. It doesn't try to be anything unique, because that's what it shouldn't be. Because it's just going across the desert. And I think they pulled that off really well. 
Oh, look, a dirt bike. Hey, look, more bugs. Do 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 do. Stop it! Come on! Ow! Son of a! Ugh! Ah, there we go. <laughs> Did I just flatten him? Because there's like a jump attack that you have to like push Z and then A like right before you hit the ground, and then that happens. Looks like I flattened that spider, though. Oh, cool, spin attack. Another thing spiders don't do. Look at that, that looks kind of ridiculous. Another thing I like about this game, well, I'll talk about that later. Oh, probably, I think it's in, like, the second level, where it starts becoming apparent. Wait, were they just, like, glowing? Like a yellow-greenish color? Loading... Keep moving along, shall we? We got 18 grubs out of 450. Hello. Well, this is a big area. I really like this game's sound design. If only I could hear it right now, because for some reason, my my sound isn't working on my TV, and I don't know why. So, I don't get to hear this game's because I, I really appreciate that it's just a really minimalistic kind of thing. Because you just hear a bunch of bug sounds, basically, and what's going on nearby. There's not much in the way of music. I mean, it's there, but it's more like... It's not even just, like, natural sounds. It's just eerie and creepy sounding. And I appreciate that. I think just about everything about this game was handled well, just... It could have used a few more months in the in the dev studio to iron out the bugs, if you will. Hardy har 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 bugs. Uh. Whoa. That was not the direction I was expecting him to go. Hey look, some grubs. Let me go get those. Again, I'm not going for them all, just um, this over here is actually something that we may come back to later. Because it's an it's it involves an ability I don't have yet. I may actually come back here later forcibly anyway. I don't... Because I know you can come back to previous levels. What do you want? Okay. You can come back to previous levels, but... Um... I don't know if I want to do that just to explore but it may bring me back here anyway, so... We'll just see how this plays out. I don't really have a plan. Unfortunately. Wait, what's... Uh, give me that guy. What's up in here? I'm gonna explore a little. Go off the beaten path. I don't really know how videos are going to be lengthed. What I may do is just kind of cut at a random point in levels if they take too long. And I feel like this one's been taking too long, and it's the first level, so... I may very well just set it up like two videos per level. Wait, where'd that spider go? Did I kill him? Or did he just run away? I wasn't really paying attention. Ah... <sighs> Let me just jump around because it's silly. <laughs> oh, hey, a grub. I guess killing thing refi uh, killing things and eating them refills your life somewhat. Ow. Slap. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yep, you dead. Web shot, okay. I don't think that's something we can actually do right now, but... Oop. Let me see. Or at least use to the... F yeah. Okay, so I can shoot webs. 
And if there's like, there has to be like a web on something for me to actually sling to it. But we'll get to that later. I don't think that's in this level. Um, something off to the side there. I think that's where I, I think I have to come through here to do that. Whoa. Did I just, because of gravity, f like, fall on my back? Hang on, let me try that again. Can I get upside down, please? No, I guess not. Did I just save? Oh, well, I'm saving again if I did. That is how saves work in this game. They're just kind of randomly placed. Look. Okay. Ah, there's a web now. Can I use that? Um. No, I guess it's too far away. Do I jump? Ouch. Thorns? Not very f good feeling. To be quite frank. Well, where do I go? <laughs> do I go around the other side of the log, I suppose? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, frame rate's looking a little choppy here, but you know, it's okay. It's a pretty graphically detailed game for the Wii, so... Such is to be expected. This game does look really good, I think. Everything's all highly detailed and gross. Makes me wish there was an even more highly detailed and gross sequel on the Wii U. But, alas, I believe the studio that developed this game is under, as is the publisher of this game, THQ. They're gone. So, it, yeah, it doesn't really bode well for a sequel to this game. It'd be neat, but I don't think it's happening. Um... Yeah, but you know, here's hoping. Speaking of Wii U, this is actually the first Let's Play that I'm recording on my Wii U. <laughs> Figures the first thing I do on my Wii U is a Wii game. And the reason I'm not using my Wii is because it's actually not working. That's something I don't know if I've explained... Oh wait, by the way, before I continue what I was saying, that thing I just ate was a leaf cricket. That actually increases my life meter. Anyway, if I've never said it before in any previous videos, my Wii actually, like, died a couple of days before the Wii U came out, so I haven't been able to transfer my data. So I'm going to have to get my Wii repaired just so I can get my data transferred over. And, but it's not like it's that big a deal. I mean, I need it to record GameCube games anyway, so... Yeah. I'll sh fork over the money. Oh! Hello, Mr. Scorpion. Time to duke it out with... Ow! Wouldn't I be dead right now? Scorpion stings are, you know... They aren't exactly easy on the body. Even for humans. Let alone something that is much smaller. Ouch! Ouch. Come on. Ow. <laughs> Wait, you gonna give me some health? Yeah, there we go. Dude, is that like a wasp corpse up there? Here we go. I think I'm done. Yeah, that is a wasp corpse. And it's all like white, so you know it's been just sitting here for like ever and it's just all crusty. I bet if you like poke it, it would just break apart. Such gross things in this game. Oh, and that's the end of level one. See you next time for chapter two.